Hey there! After this lesson, you should be able to estimate very small numbers as the product of a single digit number times a negative power of 10. If you ever plan on flying, you will be required to consider the items you bring on board. For instance, liquid items such as hand lotion, bottled water, and mascara are not allowed if they measure more than 100 milliliters. Instead, you must be sure to pack these in your stowaway luggage. Items of very small measure are often measured using fractions. For instance, the hand lotion is 8 hundredths liters, or, written as a fraction, 8 one hundredths. Just as we have done with very large numbers, we can write very small numbers as a single digit number times a power of 10. So first, let's rewrite this as a multiplication problem. We can write this as 8 times 1 hundredth. Rewriting this using a power of 10, we get 8 times 1 over 10 to the second power. Lastly, using the negative exponent rule, we can write this as 8 times 10 to the negative second. 8 one hundredths liters is the same as 8 times 10 to the negative second liters. Let's take a look at the bottle of water. It is 55 hundredths of a liter and is written as a fraction like so. How can we estimate this as a single digit number times a power of 10? Let's first get a single digit in the numerator. To get that single digit, we must first round the numerator to the highest place value, or in this case, the tens place. This ensures we have a number that ends in all zeros. Since 55 rounds to 60, we approximate this as 60 one hundredths. Now, we simplify so that the that the numerator is a single digit. We can divide both numerator and denominator by 10 to get 6 tenths. Notice we did not simplify completely. We want to simplify only enough to get a single digit in the numerator while keeping a power of 10 in the denominator. Great, now let's write this as a single digit times a power of 10. We write it first as a multiplication problem. 6 times 1 tenth. We know that this is the same as 6 times 1 over 10 to the first power. Lastly, using the negative exponent rule, we bring the 10 to the numerator by writing it as 6 times 10 to the negative first power. 55 milliliters is approximately 6 times 10 to the negative first liters. Good job! Let's take a look at one more example. This mascara is 72 milliliters or 72 ten thousandths liters. We can write this as a fraction and estimate it by first getting a single digit in the numerator. We round the numerator down to 70 and then divide both numerator and denominator by 10 to get 7 one hundredths. Now, let's start the process of writing it as a single digit number times a power of 10. We can rewrite this as a multiplication problem. 7 times 1 hundredth, or 7 times 1 over 10 to the second power. Using our rule of negative exponents, we get 7 times 10 to the negative second power. 72 milliliters is approximately 7 times 10 to the negative second liters. Great! Estimate each number as the product of a single digit number times a power of 10. Okay, let's first write 37 one thousandths as a fraction. This rounds up to 40 one thousandths. Simplifying, we get 4 one hundredths. Writing this as a multiplication problem, we get 4 times 1 hundredth or 4 times 1 over 10 to the second power. Using our negative exponent rule, we bring the power of 10 to the numerator and get 4 times 10 to the negative second power. Now, for b, we first write 921 one millionths as a fraction. This rounds down to 900 one millionths. Simplifying, we get 9 ten thousandths. Writing this as a multiplication problem, we get 9 times 1 ten thousandth, or 
9 times 1 over 10 to the 4th power. Using our negative exponent rule, we write this as 9 times 10 to the negative 4th power. Way to go! Thank you.